Gigi Hadid seems to be one of the most recognizable faces in the fashion industry these days, and she's definitely a celebrity who appears in the spotlight often. Gigi's real name is Yelena, but we all know her as Gigi, and at the time of this recording, she has over 47 million followers on Instagram. As you probably know, she's already a supermodel, and she's only in her early 20s. Since being signed to IMG Models back in 2013, Gigi's had no shortage of work, some of which included walking the Victoria's Secret show, being named International Model of the Year in 2016, and gracing the cover of Vogue, with plenty of campaigns, shoots, and runways to walk in between. Many of us were first introduced to Gigi on the reality show The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, where she appeared with her siblings, including Bella, of course, alongside her parents Mohammed and Yolanda Hadid. Since Gigi has been in the spotlight from a young age, we can really see just how much she's changed over the years. We're all aware that Gigi's a stunning model and has a career that will only keep moving forward. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing less on all of that and more on her beauty evolution. What's going on, guys and girls? My name is Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. We're gonna talk about Gigi's style, look, and any rumored work she's had done. I've done other celebrity transformation videos, including one on Gigi's sister, Bella Hadid, and other stars such as Ariana Grande, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. So let's start with Gigi's face. Although Gigi hasn't been accused as much as her sister Bella of getting work done, there still has been speculation. Some have thought that Gigi has gotten a nose job and perhaps some facial fillers, but I feel like they say that about everyone. Looking at Gigi's nose, it does appear to be slimmer now in some photos than it was before. But although her nose does look more defined and sharper in some pics, I think it could be the work of some good contouring or simply different angles. It's hard to tell, but personally, I don't think that it's a new nose. Another rumor was that Gigi perhaps has had facial fillers, and of course, Gigi's face does look extra smooth and flawless. However, she's still very young, and this could just be her natural look, great makeup, or both. Fillers are a popular choice for many young women these days, even to simply prevent fine lines and wrinkles. But for some reason, I just don't think Gigi has any. I also don't think Gigi has gotten lip fillers done like many other stars. She looks like she has the same lips as she did when she was little. Looking at photos from Gigi and her teen days, she's obviously changed. But she's likely just shed some baby fat in her face and matured a bit, rather than have gotten cosmetic work done. I think that both Gigi and Bella are gorgeous, but to me it seems like there's much less evidence of Gigi getting any plastic surgery than Bella. I think Gigi has been more or less the same girl from day one, just growing up naturally. Moving on to Gigi's body. Now some websites have thought that there was a chance that Gigi may have gotten a boob job. Yes, the star's boobs have gotten bigger than they were in the past, but that generally happens when you grow up. Gigi has even had a nip slip on the runway before, and from what I saw there, they looked real. In some photos and outfits, for sure her chest looks fuller, but I still don't think she's gotten implants. And plus, most supermodels don't need those done, especially if you're walking runways. If she did get her boobs done, it's a super natural looking job, that's for sure. It's no doubt that Gigi is in amazing shape, but it doesn't mean she's without haters. Like many celebs, people seem to criticize regardless, saying you're either too fat or too skinny. Around 2015, some people had the nerve to say that Gigi was actually not as skinny as other high fashion models, and they criticized her for that, which I think is ridiculous. A few years after, in 2018, some fans then decided to say Gigi was looking skinnier than her early modeling days, or now she was too thin. It seemed that she just couldn't win. However, Gigi fired back at these comments on her Twitter. Gigi explained, for those of you so determined to come up with why my body has changed over the years, you may not know that when I started at 17, I was not yet diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. Those of you who called me too big for the industry were seeing inflammation and water retention due to that. There were more tweets after this and she also went on to add, I will not further explain the way my body looks, just as anyone with a body type that doesn't suit your beauty expectation shouldn't have to. Not to judge others, but drugs are not my thing. Stop putting me in that box just because you don't understand the way my body has matured. Since Gigi was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disorder that affects your thyroid, she obviously had to make some changes to her diet to keep herself healthy. To keep her model physique, Gigi does follow a pretty clean diet, full of protein and not too many carbs. But she also has said in the past that she lives by the motto, eat clean to stay fit, have a burger to stay sane, and I totally feel her on that one. The star likes to indulge in some comfort foods and doesn't deprive herself of things like bread, but she also balances it out with healthy snacks as well. Not to mention, Gigi keeps herself really active. Her trainer Rob Paella from Gotham Gym in NYC has told Self Magazine 
protein that Gigi loves boxing the most, so it's used a lot in her workouts rather than just your average gym routine. Whether her weight fluctuates a bit or not, Gigi looks amazing and clearly works hard to keep herself looking toned and healthy. Moving on to Gigi's hair, she's been more or less consistent over the years. Since she was a child, her hair has been blonde. She's gone through different shades at times like lighter blonde or dirty blonde, but that's about it. She's experimented with different styles before too, like this brown wig and this short bob, which was also likely a wig of some sort. Gigi even looked hot with short hair in my opinion. I like when she tried bangs and this high braid style as well. Looking at Gigi's style, the girl always dresses well. I guess it's no surprise since she has access to all the best outfits and because she's a model. One of my fave outfits from her included this all pink outfit, which is totally something I would wear. I also love the red dress she wore to the Met Gala back in 2015, and this black David Coma dress she wore for the 2016 Guys Choice Awards. There definitely have been way too many good outfits though, which makes it hard to choose. Also Together, I think that Gigi is actually a celebrity that hasn't seemed to change much since she was a kid. Her face and body haven't changed drastically aside from usual changes that happen going from being a teen to a young adult. She's looked like a model since she was young and I definitely believe her if she said she hasn't had any work done. Gigi has already done so much in her journey as a model and walked the runway for so many iconic designers, ranging anywhere from Tom Ford to Dolce & Gabbana. Being so young, I'm sure she'll just continue to evolve and build her portfolio. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you wanna talk more about Gigi's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.